The upcoming school year will now be exceptionally hard for one group of young students, and of course their families. Kindergartners and their parents are faced with challenges that go beyond the classroom and the curriculum. This is the child's very first day of school, and in some school districts, parents will not be able to walk their child into class. Five News reporter Nick Camper is live to speak with one mother about this decision. Nick. Well, it may be difficult to remember your first day of school as a five-year-old or a six-year-old, but your parents will never forget it. This fall, parents in certain school districts will not have the opportunity to share that moment with their child walking them into school. It was more than it just being a photo op. Andrea Sanders was stunned when she found out she wouldn't be able to walk her son into his first day of school. I didn't know how to react. Sanders says she was a bit stressed out picturing her son go alone into school without knowing anyone. My child is very shy and I was not comfortable sending him into a place that he was not familiar with. Sanders is in Bentonville School District. Thursday, the district said, we are not allowing parents to walk students in the first week of school to minimize the risk of COVID-19 in our buildings. And in response to the idea of little children walking into school by themselves, the district says, we will have additional staff at each school, especially for our younger students, to welcome them upon arrival and get them to their classrooms. Sanders says she has her son on the blended learning option. She wants him in a structured environment at first because she says he listens more at school. Sanders says she reached out to the school administrators and school board officials. She was told that a kinder meet and greet will be allowed for parents and students to meet their teachers before classes begin. They do want to make accommodations. They want to keep everyone safe, um, but they don't know how you're feeling as a parent unless you tell them. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Nick Camper, 5 News. Other schools in the area following some, uh, are following similar guidelines. We know Springdale School says parents will not be allowed to walk children in, but the Rogers School District will allow it.